Always the dab to confirm that you are young and cool. The dab worked. So anyway, yeah, as soon as I got into the airport, I just checked in. I had an airport beer. And uh, even though it was, uh, you know, it was really busy, you know, it was, it was fun. As soon as I got on the airplane, I got to sit next to this really nice, cute chick with her mom. It's a gorgeous man. Oh my god. And uh, I just sat down and I watched a couple movies. Like, I was surprised. Like, the technology on airplanes has gone pretty fucking advanced. Like, I had Wi-Fi. I could, you know, I couldn't use YouTube, really, but I could, like, chat with people on Facebook. The movies were cool. I watched this Peter Dinklage movie. Ugh, there was no Bible black in it, but it was it was really good. It was called A Night Out with Hector or whatever. That movie was pretty fucking sweet. Also, the cool thing is on these planes, they have, like, chat rooms that you can join, and you can make up your own screen name. So my screen name was, like, Hot Dad 71 and I, I just went on this whole diatribe about how my wife left me, and she took the kids and the dog, and just Oh, and like I got like a couple people really invested and they wanted to buy me a beer as soon as we got to the airport Unfortunately, I didn't really hang out with them because I thought these guys were gonna come and pick me up as soon as they landed But I thought that was hilarious and then when I was getting off the airplane I ended up meeting this really cool youtuber called uh, David has been here or David is here Hey, you know the best thing about 12 hour flights to LA is that you smell great and you feel awesome And you meet cool guys like Dave's been here <laughs> I don't know, link, link down below for his channel. But he's a travel food vlogger, and uh, that was just cool. Like, you know, he had his camera out, and I'm like, are you vlogging? And he was like, yeah, I'm vlogging. We're in LA, we're on a fucking same plane, blah, 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 gay sex. I don't know, it was fun. And then as soon as I get to LA, everybody just starts, we, like, we just start filming. There's no fucking rest, there's no sleeping, it's just bam, drop your shit off, let's go film an intro. And that's the intro you guys see with us. I'm a nice guy, if you catch me in the right mind, but otherwise I might vibe darker than a nice guy. With the rapper Frank Field, and we're just fucking just, I don't know, it, it was crazy. Uh, you know, I got to meet him, and he's the guy who did the intro for the original House of Rocket series and, it was, and he was just so down to earth he was really cool and then like as soon as we're filming these Armenian guys came out of nowhere and they wanted to fight us it was fucking nuts like I guess they were angry that we were yelling on their street and shit I don't know it was fucking two seconds in LA I'm already about to get my ass kicked you know and uh, yeah I mean like as soon as we got there we're just all filming I, I check in I take out my shit I'm getting all settled in oh my god yeah, oh my god it's we him. Here. Said we couldn't make it, but uh, we're here, baby. Fuck Let's get this bread. Valjean, at last we see each other plain. Monsieur la mer, you'll wear a different chain. Nice. That was sexy. So we can get this lined up. Do the racist, do the land. So we get your line first, you got yeah. your guys' this is really fucking racist. Alright, cool. Yeah. Oh, you should be able to stick swords. Oh, look. Danny in his natural habitat. The jungle. See guys, as you can see, Danny is a mix between Michael Jackson and that guy of the hat from Mortal Kombat. Doom, 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 doom. Oh! Ah. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> so we decided we're gonna do 20 donuts per person, 10 cheeseburgers per person, and 10 fries per person. And uh, and then I meet uh, Jackson and Loki, who are uh, friends. They're 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 mostly like uh, Instagram and Facebook people, and they're friends of Rocka Rockins. And we're all hanging out in this fucking Airbnb together and shit. And uh, you know, I just just you know, for context, just for you know, putting it out there, transparency. Most of the stuff you see in the vlog, guys, it's not real it's kind of staged like when they brought out all those uber eats bags that was the first hour i was there those weren't mine those weren't mine i mean some eventually would become mine yeah like when i first got there it was just disgusting like you know they they hadn't really cleaned there was moldy towels in the bathroom uh there was just trash like uber eats bags just excessive everywhere it just starts off here and then it just gets worse and worse and then look look what these animals did to the fucking Airbnb, oh my god, we were just, everyone started. As soon as they got there, you know, they, they helped clean up the whole fucking place, so that was nice. But anyway, I'm just saying, like, take everything of a grain of salt. Like, when I make fun of myself for being fat, or they make fun of me for being fat, or we do some kind of, like, inappropriate joke, just remember, it's just, it's just off-cuff, it's just for humor's sake, like, you know, it's just to piss off people that easily get offended. It's not real. Well, some of it.
And then of course, after like only a couple days of being in LA and just getting settled and filming, we ended up going to a film with these other big YouTubers. They've got about like four or five million subscribers called the Funk Brothers. And so we're gonna go down from LA all the way to fucking uh, the Funk Brothers house. So we rent this really fucking just giant black rapist van from some fucking place somewhere in Hollywood. And they do this really cool montage and we're on our way out. We're going from our nice East Hollywood Airbnb. We're jumping in a truck, the 15 person van. Can you believe that for 15 person van? And we're going to the Fuck Brothers. And these are these two brothers named Corey and Capron, Capron. And uh, yeah, we, we drove like two and a half hours from LA down to their place in Southern California. And like, you know, as me, like before we even get settled in, we drive all the way down to their place. These guys have like a really, it's not like a huge house, but it's a really decently sized big place in the middle of nowhere next to this fucking beautiful reservoir lake. Their house was great. It was just like a young dude's play pad. You open up the pantry, it's all just fucking shit that you'd eat in middle school, like cheese and oatmeal bars and fucking soda. I mean, I swear, if I was 14 year old Sam again, I'd be jerking off as soon as I opened up that pantry. But yeah, I loved it too. They had this like really cool guest area where they had specifically six beds uh, stacked up on top of each other. They had three beds, three beds, all bunk beds. So when guests come over, they could just crash in there. And then I guess for fat dudes like me, they had like this giant like half circle sofa area and I just passed out there and it was just, I don't know, it was really fun. It was just like a dude's hangout place. But before we, we could even enjoy any of that, like immediately Corey's like, hey dudes, we gotta go and do f gymnastics in this place called Tumeka or Tumika or something. It was it was like a two hour drive from his place and we had already dro like driven like two hours to get there. And uh, we ended up going there and the guys didn't like it at all. They were just like, Ugh, people are too nice and everyone's flipping. I don't like flipping. <laughs> Positivity and flip. Don't include that in the Rocka Rocka house. After all of that, we finally get back to the Funk Brothers house and they show us the cool ball pit that they have there on their roof. Yeah, land on your back. Land on your back. Yeah, land on your back. He's gonna fly. Like on your on your front or your one. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 oh, that was a solid pin drop. <laughs> So and uh, we just uh, like you know we the, the Rocket Boys filmed a bit with Corey. Like overall, it was like really fun. Like Corey uh, Funk, I still couldn't believe that their last name was Funk. But uh, yeah, like when I got down to talking to Corey, Corey's into Japanese cars. You know, I lived in Japan, so we made a connection there. And I don't know, it was fun. It was like really nice to actually. I don't know, it's it's very humbling when you meet these people that are like so big. But then when you just hang out with them and have a beer or whatever and just chill, like, you know, you can just find, you know, shit to relate on. I don't know, it was fun. Corey, you're a good guy, and if you're watching this, you kick ass, bro. Keep doing what you're doing. Mm. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> Thank you, bro. And then this is the other one. Mate Turrets. <laughs> mate, mate Tricks. Mate Sudo Tricks. <laughs> oh. I'm sore. I'm sore. See, Mike, that pit, that is not a good that is, that is not pit. a good place. You need to do it once. I know you want to. <laughs> Oh, 
And Pete, Pete's watching. Pete's watching, Danny. Uh, uh, uh.